Well, I garbage pit three lawnmowers this morning when I went out for a drive in my own neighborhood. All three have to come see motors. That's called a craftsman, a master craft, and a craftsman. Five horse, four horse, and 3.8. I know nothing about them. I haven't even pulled their cords yet. Okay, first the compression test to see if we're going to proceed. Okay, this one has a pull start that doesn't catch. I've got a trick to fix that that you'll just love. Next. Compression's good on this one. I think that'll be a runner. And finally the rusty one. There's the hole. I'm going to have to throw that body away, but I can save the motor. I have spare bodies. And that's got good compression too, so that's a runner. Now with the Tecumseys, the most common problem is carburetor problems. Because the carburetor is the lowest point of the fuel system, so water and dirt collects in there. Or they've sat too long and it gums them up with stale gas. So after I flip them over, rotate the crankshafts, check if the blades are bent, I'll proceed to fix them. I'll pass the bent crankshaft test, so they're all ready to go for a repair. I can make them on guarantee percent for sure. Might as well start on this pretty one first. Two screws later, we got the pole starter off and now I'll show you the trick. You gotta peel back this pretty little label. It's bullshit anyways, they never start in one pull. Briggs do. Now that that's peeled back, you'll see a little plastic wedge that you could pry out if you wanted to and that holds everything all together. When it pushes down, it spreads open two plastic pieces and that's what holds this whole assembly together. Well, you put a drywall screw or some kind of screw down through that wedge and when it gets into the middle, it expands the wedge more, gives more friction for the dogs, and then they're more likely to come out. So they happen to be coming out right now, but they weren't at first. I hate it when that happens, and you jerk and pull your shoulder out. I just press that drywall screw with my hand, and now I screw it down to about halfway. Got it. Then I just take my cutting grinder, and I nip the top off of it, put the label back on. Now you can see it's going to work every time. It's got more friction, and that causes those dogs to come out. Label's back on. Now I can check the compression. <sighs> compression is good. I know she'll be a runner too. Very next thing, smell the gas, see if it's stale. No, there's pretty much no gas in here, so that's good. Next step for every unknown Tecumseh engine is undo this nut at the bottom of the bowl and drain it out and get the crap out of it, even if it's just stale gas. Of course, you're going to get sticky wet fingers doing this. When you take off this nut, don't lose the washer. Now the bowl. Gee, that's a really clean one. I bet it was running last year. Maybe the only thing wrong was the pole starter. That's sweet. Now it's very important to check the holes. This is your jet. You've got a hole in the middle, a little tiny one down there. You've got a cross hole right there. And then right up by my fingernail, you've got an itty bitty little hole. With that one always plugs up the most, and the one in the middle. What I like to clean them out with is the one of the wires from a wire brush. I cut it off with my wire cutter, shove it through those holes, rub it up and down. It cleans all the varnish off the inside. Because if you don't clean those holes well enough, your lawnmower will start, then die. Start, then die. See, even putting little bends in your wire brush wire it works good because it rubs the side of the holes better and cleans the holes out better than just a straight wire. That's the trick and then I just blow it with compressed air afterwards. 
ready for a little gas. Half a tank is good. Don't want to give the customer too much gas for free. Check the oil. Almost full enough. Color is not that bad. No silver or no milky color. Good enough to make her start. Now, this thing has a wet air cleaner. I need to remove it to start it. Never try to start one of these types of lawnmowers with a wet air cleaner because it'll choke out and flood out and make black smoke and fell your spark plugs. Now I've got less than 10 minutes into this lawnmower that I garbage picked. I hope the person on Camden Crescent is watching this. You never know, they might watch YouTube too to see how easy their lawnmower is probably going to start. The primer bulb has no cracks. That hole is necessary to be sealed when you're pushing with your finger. It doesn't work. On this brand of lawnmower, very quick pushes works the best. The faster you can push it and seal that hole, the better it works for pushing out the gas. If you push it slow, it doesn't push out any gas and it won't start. So you give it like a jab. Now let's see what's going to happen. Holy crap, this lawnmower didn't lie. It almost never happens with one of these kind of mowers. Makes a good video anyways. Well, I know what I'm going to do now. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks for the shirt. I need a reward. <laughs>